given how many returners that you have, did today feel a little bit like a continuation of the you know last few months? Yeah, really, really uh, tight practice because of that. The guys were really, really sharp. Um, we try to run summer league the same way with very few adjustments. So even guys like Keontae and Kaysen uh, that haven't been in a training camp are familiar with this stuff. We don't want to spend the whole day teaching drills. You know, we want to teach our concepts. So I thought that went well. Were there any particular moments that stood out to you in terms of the connection points that, that you're already seeing with the group? Uh, no, just competitive. I mean, these guys really competed today. Uh, we tried to make three even teams to start training camp, and that went well. Um, and that's really what stood out. We know how hard these guys work during the off season, and how encouraged were you by where they are physically and for this first practice today? Pretty good. I mean, I didn't think we were lagging uh, from a conditioning standpoint. I thought most guys came in uh, in pretty good shape. Uh, which is important, you know, because it allows us to get uh, our feet underneath us. Again, you want to focus on content. So if the more you're teaching drills and the more you're trying to get the team in shape, that's slowing down the process of learning the things that are going to be important for the season. And, you know, I thought we checked the boxes today in that. What's the main thing you guys want to get out of this first week? Just say, setting a foundation, you know, setting uh, expectations for our environment, you know, stuff I talked about yesterday professionalism, attacking the program, the mentality that we want to take to the game together, and then just a foundational base fun fundamentally. You know, what are the fundamentals that show up every possession in NBA games? And, you know, can we prioritize those and make sure the team understands uh, how important they are uh, and how they contribute to team success and individual success? And then, you know, start to build those habits. Obviously, we're not going to build them all in one day. Last year, you said that guys came in looking different. Do you feel that same way this year? Yeah, I think guys had a great summer. Six months is a long time for young players, and, and our guys hit it pretty good. So I, I've been very impressed by what I've seen skill-wise, physically, mentally, you know, confidence, maturity. You know, that's one of the benefits of a young team is those things spike uh, more aggressively early in a player's career. Said yesterday, you mentioned that the flip side of Jacob having a year is that everybody else has a year or two, and they've seen him. A young player can't know what people are going to throw at him in year or two until he sees it. So, what is that process now for a guy like that? Yeah, good question. I think um, a lot of this time of year, it's exciting. Training camp's exciting, but um, every team in the league had a good day today because there's no struggle or adversity. Um, so, a lot of it's just mentally preparing the team for the challenges of the NBA season and not looking down the, the, the highway of the NBA season and expecting it to be easy or to go smoothly or even to, to make predictions in your own head about it. Um, so just the, the fact that he's aware that he's going to have to evolve, he's going to have to improve, he's going to get tested in different ways uh, is a good thing because then when he's in that moment, he can grow from it and learn from it rather than uh, be caught off guard by it. How did Chet look today? Good. You know, one of the guys... Uh, he's had a, two summer league training camps now, so he's been in these practices. Uh, he's a cognitive player anyways, um, and so I thought he did a good job. Not much you can really take from the first practice, but anybody kind of shock you didn't expect to see? No, nothing shocking. I mean, I knew they were all on the roster, so when they walked in, I was, I was like, I expected to see all of them. <laughs> Hopefully they weren't shocked by me. Do you have to be conscious of anything with Chet, with the foot, anything that you're limiting or anything? No, he's fully, fully recovered. I think the biggest thing is, I mentioned yesterday, there's return to play and there's return to performance, and he hasn't been under game pressure in 18 months. So I think a lot of it for us is just mentally understanding that uh, and taking it a day at a time with him and not trying to rush the process because we're excited he's playing. Um, and I thought he did a good job of that today. We did a good job of that today. That's going to be critical, but physically he's fine. What, what do you think of the new player participation policy? Um, really the stuff Sam said about it, I'm yeah. kind of like in line with, you know, I think, um, uh, you know, he mentioned that it's good for the league. All the stakeholders agreed on it. It's good for the business. It's certainly a business decision. We totally get that. Um, and then, you know, we'll fall in line with the policy, obviously. Uh, but I echo everything he said. You guys had a, another, I mean, not, not just one, but the two more international players to the team and you have a lot of international players now. It was not always easy to live in another country and speak in another language and you know, experience a uh, different culture and adjust. And what are the like uh, challenges oh, and also the dis dis uh, uh, challenges and advantage to have that many international players? Great question. I think an advantage of international players is um, 
their experiences in basketball, there's unbelievable pride when they play with their national teams uh, and game pressure in those countries. Uh, and so they are, are groomed as young players to play inside the team and to play competitively and to practice hard. Uh, and those are advantages. You are absolutely right. It's a hard adjustment for international players. I think that's something that is easy to overlook. Um, I think most of the challenges is when they leave the building, you know, when they're in a new community, uh, in a new country, getting used to the culture in Oklahoma and America. Um, and when they're kind of on their own, when they're here, basketball is kind of a universal language. It's a universal thing. And, and I think the environment feels um, refreshing and rejuvenating for everybody, regardless of where they're from. And I think that's the beauty of the game. What was the theme for the music this year? Uh, there was no theme for the music this year. We just kind of we played the music this year. We, it was a that was an oversight on our part. Actioning the Shays games with Canada and Lou. Not live, I'll tell you that. <laughs> not, not one minute. Not one minute. When those kids are sleeping, we are down. <laughs> uh, yeah, a little bit. I mean, they sent uh, the the video staff sent out every game that our guys played in, and I I can't sit here and say I watched every one of them because you don't get great service on the beach. But um, you know, is we we I caught enough to see what was going on. I was asking that because, like, I was wondering, like, as a coach, when you see your players in different, like, team contexts and around different, like, coaches and, you know, teammates and everything, like, you, is that, like, a way to learn something new about them that you wouldn't really know? For sure. You know, I thought um, with all those guys, you know, Josh, certainly the role they had him playing in Australia and the way they used him, I was excited to see Um Shea and Lou, I thought they actually played pretty similar roles there that they played here, but certainly different coaches, different teammates, different context. It's great for them to learn, great for us to learn, but we had our eye on that for sure. You know, it, the thing that was most interesting with Shea was how he got defended. That's what I was most excited to see. Uh, and there was some good stuff there, you know, in terms of the way that teams try to take him out. There's just a different perspective and lens that international teams have. Uh, and I thought that was insightful because it gives you a little bit of an idea of how people see him. Anything different in how he's defended in FIBA versus what you regularly see in the NBA? A lot more ball pressure, you know, up the floor. And they, I thought they really tried to um, tire him. I thought Serbia in particular did that. Brazil did that a little bit. And then a lot more double teams, um, which is something we've seen plenty of. Certainly we saw in the postseason last year, as we talked about prior to that game. But um, how they attacked it, how he handled it, you know, I thought he was brilliant in the, the last game there with the double teams. I mean, he really made them pay. I thought it was a great compliment from Steve Kerr saying we couldn't we couldn't guard Shea. Yeah, I mean he's he's a really good, you know I think everybody's onto him now at this point. Mark, last week Sam mentioned that it's more on the team to adjust to Chet than Chet adjusting to the team. I just wanted to ask you how that's going so far and are there big adjustments to learning. Yeah, I, I think that's true for everybody too. You know that's not like a, a Chet plan. I think you know we have a a way of operating first and foremost that. Um, we're trying to establish with everybody that we expect everybody to commit to so that they can reap the benefits from it professionally and for their careers. And then we have a way of playing and a way of competing um, that we're not really bending, you know, for, for any individual player because um, the team's bigger than everybody. And, and, you know, players coming in and immediately committing to the environment and immediately committing to the identity reinforces the environment and the identity and makes both of those things better for everybody. And um, so that's not, we don't enforce that like law officers, you know, but we certainly um, educate on the sense of purpose behind that and uh, how that can benefit individual players and how it benefits the team. And, you know, Chet's a part of that process. I know he's the second pick, but he's a Thunder player in our Thunder environment playing Thunder basketball. Are you a believer that your second unit, or and I know these guys all mix and match, they have to play the same identity offensive style or is it more personnel based the reason i ask is you know you, you have a guy like bertans in the second unit uh most likely chet obviously able to stretch the floor as a five man too do you want kind of a similar play style throughout the entire course of the game um or are you willing to kind of switch things up as i mentioned yesterday the the style of the individual players um is different you know you play to your strengths you know that's the play style for an individual so then when you put five guys on the court that are playing styles that are efficient and impactful for them, 
the output of that is going to look different depending on who's on the court. What can't be different is the identity of the team, which is we are a compete together team. So however we're playing defense, you know, we could have a team switching because, um, you know, that's who we have on the court and we're kind of off of our base system. That's style, right? But we're still competing together while we switch. And I think that's the constant. I know you've been on the floor with a lot of these guys before, but any feelings going through you today, just the first day of, of practice this season? Yeah, just eagerness uh, and excitement. Uh, like you said, played with all these dudes on the court before, uh, but not in a uh, structured setting quite like uh, first day of training camp. So it was great. Any moments of connection that you noticed out there? Mark was just saying it, it really kind of feels like a continuation given how many returners there are. Yeah, yeah, there were a lot. Not only uh, on on my squad when we were playing together, but you can see it with the, uh, the other teams when we were going against them. Uh, a lot of guys are uh, already clicking, knowing how each other plays, uh, and uh, now it's just kind of getting down some of the new stuff that uh, coach is putting in and uh, really figuring out how to execute that. Yeah, just how nice is it in general just to have so many familiar faces out there, a lot of guys from last season and obviously same coaching as well? Yeah, it's great. Uh, it makes makes things a lot easier. Uh, you know, when you have a whole new group, uh, you got to figure out everybody. Uh, but we have a few new guys, and uh, we got to figure out how to play with them. They got to figure out how to play with us. But uh, for the most part, um, there's already a lot of uh, returning chemistry. So it said that, like, just could you tell that you guys, like, put in the work? Oh, oh OK. Yeah. Yeah. And nah, all summer long, you know, dudes have been in the gym working on their bodies, on their game. So uh, some dudes have new aspects of their game and, uh, uh, you know, play differently uh, within different actions and stuff. And uh, that's part of the chemistry that we're working on. But uh, it's, it's exciting to see uh you know improvement and dudes are getting better you know year in year out so let's keep it going but between the, the rehab and summer league get back on the court are you pretty comfortable in terms of not thinking about the foot or do you have to get into games to to get to that point uh, i haven't thought about the injury and Is it, you, like when i'm playing I'm, i haven't thought about that in a long time so yeah like it happened like i know it happened like i think about the fact that it happened but i'm not thinking like my foot like you know what i'm saying like i'm just out i'm just out there like it's completely in the back of my mind when i'm playing yeah no 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 not at all not at all nope nope Chad, there's certain skills coming off an injury that you just can't really work on i know with your foot there's some like shooting things but you're known for your shot blocking is that something that you can just turn on when you come back on the floor or is that something you have to adjust to when you come back uh i mean there will always be an adjustment. I've been playing long enough now that uh, I've kind of got like the rhythm and timing of things down. And um, there will definitely be an adjustment, uh, you know, night in, night out, depending on who we're playing, how they play. Uh, just trying to understand the game and not, um, you know, put my team out of position going for blocks and stuff. Just it'll be like an X's and O's thing more than a, uh, you know, a return to play thing. You pretty much been around these guys for, uh, what, a year, 14 months or so. Uh, but of the new guys, who's kind of stuck out to you? Who's kind of surprised you? Uh, all of them have stuck out in different ways. Uh, you know, Queso's defense is, is amazing. Uh, you know, Vasa, uh, he's a great facilitator. You know, very steady guy. Keontae gets his athleticism in the game. Uh, he can really shoot the ball. Berton's one of the dudes who can really, really shoot the ball, you know, and he gets it off quick. Um, who am I missing? Jack White, you know, tough-nosed dude. Uh, you know, he's going to be in every play. Uh, making winning plays and, and doing whatever our team needs. So all, all these dudes are sticking out in different ways and, and they're getting their game into the game, uh, which is great to see. And, uh, you know, we're going to keep it rolling. Sure, when it comes to shot blocking, I know Anthony Davis at one point said he was good at it when before he was tall. But he just felt like it was kind of a thing he knew how to do. Did, were you a natural shot blocker when you were young? Uh, Yeah, I'd say it's been a part of my game as long as I can remember. Is it something you think some of that is just innate? You just guys, some guys are just good at it. Yeah, some of it's just timing, and uh, you know, some of it's natural. Yeah, and some of it's understanding, positioning, and stuff. So it's a little bit of both. Shot blocking. When did you pick up your guard skills? Was uh, was it something that you just learned with your game, or is it something you picked it's up been, during? It's been something that. Uh, since I picked up a basketball that I've been working on, um, you know, just adding adding different skills as I've been going, uh, you know, whatever it might be, whether it's guard skills or uh, post moves or whatever it might be, just adding to my whole game, you know, since I started playing. Did you practice alley-oop with Josh? 
that I practice alley oop with Josh. Uh -huh. He wasn't on my team today, but uh, you know, me and Shay were, were practicing it a little bit. And I'm, I'm sure we'll we'll get plenty of reps at it. Not just Josh. Yeah, not just Josh. It'll be it'll be uh, the whole team. We're we're working on it. Yeah. What does Shay and Chet look like together on the court? Uh, exciting. Yeah. Chet, when you're in screening actions as as a screener, what are some of your things you're thinking about in terms of your decisions about whether you're going to roll, kind of short roll, or or pop back out to the three point line? Uh, just reading the defense and uh, you know, considering uh, what coach is trying to accomplish within that that scheme or that action. Um, uh, and then you know, trying to make a quick read out of that, and then and then play from there. I know you've played with these guys before, but all last year you were learning these guys off the floor and watching them in action. How nice is it to actually be on the floor with these guys learning and building some consistent chemistry out there? Man, uh, it's a blessing. I uh, didn't have this opportunity last year, and, and now that it's here, you know, I'm very excited for it. Same training camp this year compared to last year. I was doing good. Uh, high energy with the guys, you know. I missed last year's training camp, so it was definitely a new experience for me. But um, it was great out there. I mean, we have high energy. We got a lot of guys, a lot of talented guys, and uh, I think we got some going. Just as you think back to, to last year compared to now, like the understanding that you all have together on the floor, um, how, how does that compare and, and how much further ahead do you feel? Uh, yeah, I mean, definitely with the, um, the group of guys that we have, you know, we got a lot of returners. Um, Going through some of our sets and actions, we're kind of familiar familiar with them, so we picked up on it really quick. Um, the chemistry with the guys that were here and with the new guys has been been good, especially just, just this being the first day. So I'm um, looking to continue to build and just continue to stack days. Are you looking forward to the uh, post-practice shooting competitions with Bertons? Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's, I feel like we got a, we got a, we have an arsenal. Yeah. We got an arsenal now with him. You no, know, we got Trey Lindy. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a good one. Yeah. So definitely, there's gonna be a lot of competition going on for sure. What's it like coming into the first day of training camp, knowing how hard all of these guys have worked during the off season, and then seeing that in action all together for the first time? Yeah, it's just like seeing you know everything come together. Uh, like I said, this is just the first day, um, but just to see you know how the guys are out there, how everybody gelled together for the first day, how everybody communicated, you know, it just shows the um, the starting point, and you know we can see how far we can go from here. Sam said that. Just by looking at you guys, you can tell that you guys look different, put in a lot of work. Could you tell? Could you tell that on the on the on the floor? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, everybody out there takes pride in themselves, takes pride in their you know preparation for this game, and it definitely showed out there. I think everybody had a really productive summer. Um, you know, working on themselves, working on whatever they needed to work on. But um, coming in here, it definitely showed everybody. You know, showed promise, and it just shows that we can you know put it all together. Uh, you obviously work on your game all the time, everything about your game, but what, like, one thing can you kind of pinpoint that you worked on extra this, this offseason? Uh, for me, not being, you know, just don't be one-dimensional. One I think I tried, tried to show signs of that last year, just being able to put the ball on the floor. Teams are going to probably run me off the line, uh, so I got to be comfortable at getting to that next action um, consistently. And other than that, just, you know, locking down on defense. I think whenever the offense isn't going, that's just one way, you know, stay on the floor. Chet looked like 30 and he blocks today. Right, Chet, Chet's a, he's a hell of an athlete. Um, he showed, you know, a lot of promise over this summer, and it's really good to have him back. Um, we're just trying to, you know, see how he's going to gel with the team and how we're going to get this thing rolling. But he's definitely, you know, looked really good out there. What have you learned about your individual defensive identity over the last you know, 12 months or so? Uh, for me, uh, it was more so... I already had the. I already knew, you know, what I needed to do on the defensive end. It's just about showing everybody else, because you know, coming in here, everybody's just like quote unquote undersized, which I've always been. So you know, just going out there, showing everybody that I know how to play defense and that I know, you know, how to be in the right spots at the right time. Um, but we have a great system, great coaching staff that helps with all that. Shoot, the teammates are really good. We have really good communication out there, so it just makes it even easier. Did you get the first charge taken today? Were there any out there today? Uh, actually, not. Um, shout out to Lou. I think he had two of them today. <laughs> And I, I think he might have been the only one to take one today, to be honest. Y'all better catch up. Yeah, yeah, we got some work to do. We got some work to do. We're behind. Did you put on uh, muscle or got bigger compared to last year? It... Yeah, so. Yeah, so that was, um, you know, an uh, emphasis on my summers. I kind of predicate, you know, a lot of my summers just to getting stronger, putting on muscle, putting on a little bit of weight. Um, but, you know, that just comes with, you know, diet and, you know, routine with the weight room and all that. And we got a good, good training staff and, you know, good nutrition team. You've pretty much been around um, here, you know, for a while. Of the new guys, who kind of stuck out to you or surprised you? I think, I mean, for, for the most part, just me, you know, 
being, being once being a new guy, um, I think they all, you know, stood out. Everybody, nobody shied away from the challenge of, you know, being new. Everybody stepped up to the plate. It, nobody out there actually seemed like this was their first training camp. So I think that's a, you know, that just shows a lot of promise.